In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. My dear friends, as we begin this celebration, we first once again call to mind and acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant Lord, grant Lord God, that we your servants may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body. And through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary of our Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. I, Zechariah, raised my eyes and looked there was a man with measuring line in his hand. I asked, Where are you going? He answered, To measure Jerusalem, to see how great is its width and how great its length. Then the angel who spoke with me advanced, and another angel came out to meet him and said to him, Run, tell this to that young man, People will live in Jerusalem as though in open country because of the multitude of men and beasts in her meads. But I will be for her an encircling wall of fire, says the Lord, and I will be the glory in her meads. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flocks. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, he who is guarded Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the land of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, the young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flocks. Please stand. Our Savior Christ Jesus destroyed death and brought the life to light through the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While they were amazed at his 
every deed, Jesus said to his disciples, pay attention to what I am telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was hidden from them, so that they should not understand it. And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa mga nagpapa medical check up ang isa sa pinaka dreaded na moment ay yung makuha nyo na yung result at makita kung ano yung resulta kung maayos ba kung mayroong mga kailang ayusin na sa sarili so we, we dread the result but at the same time gusto rin nating malaman kung ano nga ba talaga yung kalagayan natin sa mga nagtitake ng board examination uh, they dread also the day ng pag-release ng result ng board. But also at the same time, they are excited na, na ma malaman na yung resulta. No? I remember that very much because waiting for the result of uh, the evaluation of my thesis, dalawang buwan no, na binabasa at ina-assess at ine-evaluate ng aking mga evaluators yung kalidad ng thesis kung papasa ba o hindi hindi mo malaman kung pinakabog yung chan mo kapag ka malapit na o ay nakakaisang buwan na isang buwan na uli no? so andun yung excitement but at the same time andun yung fear marami tayong mga ganyang uh, sitwasyon sa buhay natin that we are excited on the one hand but at the same time we dread the day because the result might not be favorable to us. The result might be difficult to accept. I remember that because in the gospel that we read today, Jesus was telling his disciples about what he will have to undergo. That it is something that is inevitable for him to go through suffering, to go through death, so that his mission on earth will be completed but the disciples are oblivious the disciples cannot understand this particular event sa buhay ng Panginoon of that he is going to go through pain and suffering and that is why they cannot see the significance of that they could not even accept it and they do not have the courage to face the reality that part ng mission ng ating Panginoon is to go through suffering and pain. It's part and parcel ng mission ng ating Panginoon. Why? Perhaps because they do not have the courage to accept it as such. My dear friends, in this novenario to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we once again remember the courage of Mary. The courage of Mary to, to say her fiat na kahit na hindi niya gaanong nauunawaan yung binanggit sa kanya ng anghel na ikaw ay magdadalang tao at sa iyong sinapupunan ang anak ng Diyos. The faith of Mary is the seat of her courage. Kaya nga nabulalas niya, let it be done to me according to thy word. Saan ang gagaling yon? It's a courage that is based on the grace and faith in God. Nung, nung na, na, nakita niya na nawawala ang Panginoon, the, the dust and finding of the Lord in the temple, what gave Mary the courage to go back and to scour everyone returning to their homes and to ask, Andiyan ba sa inyo ang anak ko? And she went back again to Jerusalem only to find that Jesus was there with the, with the elders discoursing with them. Ano yun? It's the courage once again to look for something na nawawala, na mahalaga sa ating buhay. But if there is something that tells us about the courage of Mary, is that to be there on the foot of the cross during the time that the Lord is was crucified. 
at nag-aagaw buhay. Daming nanay dito, I'm sure that is something that it is unimaginable. Yung makita ninyo yung anak ninyo na hindi nyo nga mapadapuan ng lamok o kaya ng langaw, eh in front of you is go undergoing suffering has been crucified at nag-aagaw buhay. And yet, Mary faced the inevitable. Mary accepted that that part, that portion, that event, ay part and parcel ng misyon ng ating Panginoon. Hindi, friends, maraming mga bagay din sa buhay natin na takot tayo minsan harapin. Ang tanong saan tayo bubunot ng lakas, ng courage, na tanggapin yung mga bagay-bagay na yon na bahagi ng ating buhay. As we celebrate the Novenario again to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we remember or we are being reminded that we have a mother who is courageous and courageous to the point of accepting things and to look at it from the perspective of God and to look at it with the faith that everything will be fine when it is in the hand of God. Today, at this time, we're still going through a lot of things, a lot of sufferings. It's everywhere. But the gospel is something that assures us that our Lord is our companion in these difficult times. And sabi nga natin, if God is with us, who can be against us? If God is with us, we will find courage to see things from His perspective and to accept even the most difficult challenges na dumarating sa buhay natin. Kindly all stand for the prayers of the faithful. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for His mother and let us ask Him, May your mother intercede for us. May our mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men and women who have been called to serve your people the joyful abundance of your grace, that they may become living witnesses of your love in their vocation of wholehearted service. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You thought Mary to seek the glory of God above all else. Grant that our government leaders may through their sincere desire for the greater glory of God, lead the people towards the real and integral progress of society and humanity, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Through her intercession, grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Mary received God's word with an open heart. May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our life under God's loving protection. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You crown Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the members of our community who have died rejoice in your kingdom with your saints forever. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For those who are affected and aff afflicted by COVID-19, especially our health care providers and frontliners, the sick and those who have died, may through the guidance and grace of the, of the Lord and the government and private agencies swiftly find cure and solution to this pandemic, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of Our Lady of Manawag, devotees, friends, and benefactors, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. All-powerful God, we rejoice in the protection of the Holy Virgin Mary. May her prayers help 
to free us from all evils here on earth and lead us to eternal joy in heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good in the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, nor request be made in vain. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. May call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, 
and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But all I say the word in my soul shall be healed.
finishes that. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The schedule of the Masses of that day will be the following, 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and High Mass at 4 p.m. to be presided by His Excellency Socrates B. Villegas Didi, Archbishop of Lingayen de Gupan, and to be followed by sending off of the pilgrim image to all the streets of the population of Manawag. Please light a candle outside your homes as the image of the Apu Bucket passes by and be concluded with a closing ceremony. See you all here or join us live stream via Facebook, YouTube, and Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. Thank you. Please stand. Also, uh, we invite you to join us on October 2. Uh, we will be launching yung mga activities para sa centenary, 100 years ng uh, canonical coronation ng ating uh, Pubaket, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will be launching it uh, through a virtual concert na commission po kami ng uh, pagsusulat ng mga awitin sa misa na gagamitin dito sa minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And we will have, may kli lang po yun, 30 to 45 minute na concert po ng mga songs na gagamitin po dito sa minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. So please join us uh, through our website and then our social media platforms po. At Maraming salamat sa pakikisa po ninyo sa banal na misa. Patuloy po kayong makakaasa ng aming mga panalangin at uh, inihiling din po namin na patuloy nating ipagdasal yung bawat isa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. A Mass ascended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit and the blessing of your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we bless them. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.